What do you got going on here, Nico? We like what are we what are we doing all together? Yeah. Uh, we're testing some reserve wheels here at Massanutten. Massanutten is one of the rockiest courses I've ever ridden, and this season had a few incidents cracking some rims. Really, not that many, but just like at inopportune times, like quality runs. Um, on some of the roughest tracks like Fort William and Mount St. Anne. And I thought it was pretty cool that instead of reserve saying, hey, like you cracked our rims on video in front of a bunch of people, we don't need you anymore. They, um, they said like, hey, how can we make them stronger and work together to make the wheels better? thought maybe the condition was getting a little better. So I felt better on that run, but it was also the fourth run today. It's hard testing to not just feel better because you're getting better on the course. It's hard to tell if I was riding, uh, like hitting more bumps or if it was the rim. I'm gonna try again, a swap back to that one. Like, it, I felt like I, I didn't have as good of a run that one, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it was just me. You're just riding like shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, no, it's, pro it's, it's gotta be the bike. It couldn't <laughs> possibly be me. One of the toughest things is to test for race conditions because World Cup tracks are so rough and in a race run, sometimes you're pushing harder and you're maybe not as precise with your line, kind of rushing to the finish that you hit stuff that you maybe normally wouldn't. And here on this track, we can replicate that a lot with some pretty harsh impacts. So it's a good spot to dur durability test wheels. I think anybody who's raced here or ridden here at Massanutten knows what we're talking about. So my name's Kieran McKinnon. I work for Santa Cruz Bicycles and also Reserve Wheels doing product development. Um, I mostly do ride quality. So uh, we're out here with Nico testing wheels, uh, mostly to make sure they don't break, but also to make sure they ride well. Yeah, I think this track's really good just for braking. Um, it's also really good, I think, for vertical compliance but there's not a lot of uh, like high G-force cornering on the track. So it's like one part of the puzzle. Uh, we learned a lot in regard to how the wheels track through really rough terrain, uh, not necessarily through berms or like G-out situations, but um, yeah, just like how compliant the wheels are in like a vertical sense uh, over consecutive high-speed hits and uh, the different qualities of carbon versus other materials um, and how the stiffness affects the general ride quality of the wheel. It's 
So I'm Nick McCray, I'm the R&D manager for Santa Cruz Bicycles and lead engineer for Reserve Wheels at the same time. So my responsibility is to run the test lab, the composite lab uh, for Santa Cruz and Reserve Wheels utilizes those resources at the same time. So basically my job uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is to see product through t testing and into mass production. And uh, res for Reserve Wheels specifically, um, that I also take care of product design. Um, so basically the rim design, how they're built into wheels, who manufactures the rims, what the um, quality control processes are gonna be, um, all the way to product testing with athletes, which we're doing today. So lab testing and ride testing are uh, complement each other. You, in the lab, you're always kind of simplifying real life load cases into something that is measurable and repeatable. So it can inform some design decision and some direction, but you always need product validation in the field. And also numbers taken in the lab don't mean much unless you can tie it to feedback and reality. So I think what we're doing here is getting a feel for those lab numbers um, and then understanding what actually matters. And you know, if the number is low or medium or high, like where is that balance point uh, between all of the metrics that you're measuring in the lab and what is important for these guys at the speed they're going. We're pretty lucky. We work with uh, an exclusive vendor for uh, rim manufacturing and because they're exclusive to us the turnaround time is, uh, is, is really quick so when we get in there with a request to change a layup we can get samples within 10 days um, which is super quick um, way faster than um, any other factory I've worked with in the past to be honest um, which so we're super lucky uh, if we start from scratch, like retooling a new design, that's more like six weeks until we see a test report and then we start ordering some samples. Uh, there's usually two or three rounds of samples in our own lab in Santa Cruz. Um, so I'd say like anywhere between, depending on how testing goes, like 10 to 16 weeks and we'll be out on a track again um, doing another test session with a new prototype. Steven riding Nika's framework bike, what do you think of like, what are your initial thoughts on the frame? I think it's really good. Uh, I think Nico has a really good feel for what works and what doesn't with suspension linkage. And I think that was like really well applied to this bike. What are your initial feelings on what could be better on the bike? Um, I think the suspension linkage is like really close for the amount of time that he spent on it. Like, I think Nico understands uh, the goals of what you want from a suspension link is really well. Um, for me, uh, I think it came down mostly to uh, like the tube selection and the stiffness of the front versus the rear end. Um, I think for me personally, that's probably uh, the area that I would improve. Uh, maybe because I have the longer headset installed. The bike that I'm riding is what, 10 millimeters longer than the one that Nico's riding. So for me, the front end feels like it's a little bit too compliant to where if you're braking hard through rough terrain, for example, uh, the fork axle is moving a lot. And then the swing arm is also pretty rigid, which is fine, but I also think the more weight you can remove from the unsprung mass of the bike, like the swing arm, the higher the quality your suspension is gonna be. I honestly think that Nico's bike is one of the best downhill bikes right now.